Okay, Math Expressions Unit 5, Lesson 2. Let's go over number 1. We are now doing 4-digit dividends by 2-digit divisors. So the way we're looking at this, this is a 39, is that we would think 39, well, we're going to round that up to 40 just to understand how it will go in to our dividend a little bit easier. So 40. Can that go into 2? Well, no. Can it go into 28? No. Can it go into 288? Yes. Well, how many times? Well, I know 7 times 4 is 28. But that gives me 280, so that's probably going to get really close for me. So 7 times 40 is 280. But remember, we're multiplying it by 39. We're just thinking about it as 40 to make it easier to figure out what will go into it. So if 7 times 40 is 280, 7 times 39 would be 273, which is 7 less than 280. We subtract. We have 15. 39 cannot go into 15, so we bring down the 6. 39 or 40, we can think of it as 39 or 40, can that go into 156? Well, yes. It can actually go into it evenly four times. And 4 times 39 is 156. And we subtract, and we get 0. All right, so looking at number 9, The lunchroom has enough seats for 168 students. Each class has 24 students. How many cl classes can eat in the lunchroom at the same time? So we have 168 students. That's our group. We have a large group of 168 students. But we have each class that has 24 students, so we're trying to figure out how many classes of 24 can be in that lunchroom at the same time for lunch. Well, if we want to think of this as 20, we can. So 20 will go into 168 how many times? I know 20 times 10 is 200, so that's too many times. 20 times 8? That's 160. But can 24 go into it evenly? we got to consider that. So let's look at 24 and times that by 7. And that gives me 8 and a 2. 14 plus 2. Oh, look at there. 168. So I put a 7 on top. 7 times 24. 168, and we get a zero remainder, so seven classes is our answer, okay? So you may have to do some multiplication on the side to help you out, but this is uh, a good way to check your work. Think about rounding down or rounding up to see how many times the divisor may go into the dividend.